Okay, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is drinking. Who wants to come in on that? Tess. <laughs> um, hi, give me a chief, you like a drink? <laughs> cool, um, I don't drink because um, I'm not an infidel. Um, <laughs> But the reason I bring you up is because last summer I got invited to a stag do, um, and that stag do was in Benidorm. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, the whole time I was in Benidorm, because I genuinely don't drink, I was a bit like, you know that guy who goes to Alton Towers, but he just holds the bags and the coats when everyone else goes on the rides? <laughs> That's what it felt like for me in Benidorm, but genuinely, I've never touched a single drop of alcohol in my life, and, um, well, tell a lie. There might have been this one time <laughs> in Benidorm. <laughs> um, so I'm out with the lads. It's a stag do. I'm stagging it. Textbook, just having a great time. And I came back to our table, and there's glasses on there filled with clear liquid. I picked up quite innocently what I thought was my lemonade. Took a sip of it, spat it back out, turned out to be vodka and lemonade. And I'd never drunk before, so the vodka, it really burnt my mouth. And I felt awful because I'd just broken one of the major rules in my religion for the very first time. Hashtag, a big deal. <laughs> At that moment, I just took a step back and honestly, genuinely, hand on heart, just really, really wished that I hadn't smoked so much weed before I left the hotel. <laughs> uh, Mum, if you're watching this, weed is street slang for basil. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dad. OK, that leaves us with Milton. Let's see where your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is communication. Where you go? <laughs> Recently, I've joined up the group Eavesdroppers Anonymous. Not that they know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like to burgle my house. Oh, no. Well, it would be pointless, wouldn't it? Stealing things I already own. <laughs> missiles! Missiles! They don't even sound accurate. <laughs> if your name is Andre, don't end your texts with a kiss. As early as 1724, Sir Tim Montague had the idea for the post-it note, uh, but he'd nothing to write it down on. <laughs> so if you're at a party and you spill some red wine on a white carpet, best thing to do is to get some ordinary table salt, throw it in the face of the host... <laughs> ..and make a run for it. <laughs> Annoying, isn't it? When you go shopping, you buy something, you get it home, and then you see the sticker, buy one and get one free. Uh, <laughs> and you think, I could have got another shoe. Thank you. 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 Thank you.